well. Um, today I'm going to be working on a junk journal. So I wanted to create, maybe it's not, maybe that's not the right word. Um, no, no, I do. I want to, I want to make like little notebooks, like junk journal notebooks, like I usually do. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be pulling some random stuff from my stash. So here's just a scrappy bit of paper. So I want it to be like that small. I just want a tiny little itty bitty thing. Um, if that makes any sense. <laughs> just mini little junky notebooks. That's what I want. <laughs> that would make me the happiest. So here I have some papers, very springy papers. Maybe it'll just be A5. These are A5 size papers from Everyday Journaling by Helen Colebrook. I don't know if they still have them at Craft Stash, but that's where her line is from. So these will be like little itty bitty notebooks. Little itty bitty things. So I'm just gonna fold, start off by just folding these in half. I should probably use a scoreboard, but I'm not going to. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, and then I'm gonna pull some more. I have a bag, of course I have a bag. A bag of um, different papers and things that I can use and pull from for the insides. So I've got some papers. These I think were given to me by Hannah Baker, who might be watching. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go for a junk journal, but also try to make it as springy as I possibly can. Um, sorry, <laughs> struggling. I forgot to pull up my laptop. I'm just sitting here all like ready to go ready to start and then I realized that I didn't have my laptop um, which is important because I can't do this little live it's not as fun just on my own <laughs> Shoshana I was just thinking about you <laughs> I hope that doesn't creep you out but I really was I was like Shoshana I need to call Shoshana text Shoshana to ask her a question okay so I've got these papers. What are these anyway? Chemist and Druggist Quarterly Price List. Ooh. That's cool. Pharmacists, pets in all parts. Pharmacists in town or country need to know as much on animal medicines as about drugs for human use. All need chemist veterinary veterinary handbook. Suppositories. <laughs> nice. Ointment. Suppositories and ointment are just one of those words that are not very um, appetizing. All right, we have Alex. She says, um, happy Saturday, everyone. Karis is here. I'm going to do my very best to be here today. I miss you all. Aw, hello. Amy is here, about to make a cup of tea. Scrapbooking for life. Good morning. I think scrapbooking for life is Bridget Gonzalez. I think. So hello Bridget if it is you. Lynn is here. Um, Lynn says hello everyone. Jeanette been waiting for this all day long. <laughs> Aw. Same. Same. Um, Sue Hart's Crafts says happy Saturday everyone. Uh, Sarah Louise says hello. Amy says, I heard Helen Colbrook's name. Yeah, so we're using some of Helen Colbrook's papers for our notebooks. Hannah says, yes, they were for me. They're from a vintage chemist catalog. That is so cool. Um, Shoshana says, hello, everyone. Did someone say they have a puppy? What is happening? You have a puppy at my work with your name, but spelt with shush. That's what we call her, Shush. <laughs> that's so funny, because I think that's Shoshana's nickname, is Shush. I think her family calls her Shush. Um, Hi, Maria. She says she's going to be crafting, so just a wallflower today. 
Sandy Flores says, good morning all. I've been up so long that I'm sleepy again. <laughs> yeah, I hate when that happens. <laughs> it is Bridget. How are you? Um, you didn't know, but I almost lost my mom. Oh no, Karis, I'm so sorry. I know that she hasn't been well. Um, and you've been taking care of her like a good daughter. Um, so I hope, I hope she's on the mend. Um, what, if, what are we going to do with this paper? It's kind of, it might work. Okay. So we will fold it like that. This is going to be a very junky journal, I'm thinking. Junky journals. And we're going to try to get them nice and chubby. Fatten them up. So I'm just going to fold all these things. There we go. And then we'll put them in here. Kind of like this. All right, we might have to do some trimming. Trimming and whatnot. All right, so we got some there for the insides. Where's that? I need some more paper for the insides. That's what I'm trying to find. Um, I like to try to find pieces that are not all, um, to make it super junky, I like to try to find pieces that are not the same size. Just so that, oh, like I really like this paper, but it's not, I wanted to go for a spring vibe <laughs> because of the outside. So I don't know how this story, really like this print, but it just doesn't feel right. Um, and speaking of feeling right, <laughs> this has nothing to do with feeling right, sorry. I just wanted to do a comment switchy, uh, a subject, subject switchy. Um, I filmed a video, hooray for filming a video, a pre-recorded video. So that's up on my channel. It is a junk journal. No, it's not. It is a, uh, what do you call it? a um snail mail bundle tutorial <laughs> oh gosh i don't know why i couldn't speak <laughs> hello Brittany. how are you um kara says i found her unresponsive and hardly breathing she had pneumonia with septic oh gosh that's so bad when you're septic but she's been home for three weeks now and she's like 90 percent better nice that is great news <laughs> I thought she had, well, I think you had mentioned that before, but I thought, um, oh geez, sorry, just hit you, just hit you guys in the face. Okay, here's one more, pretty, pretty little paper, gorgeous, gorgeous paper, so we'll just add that in here, sure, why not, so that's what I meant by, like, different size paper, um, sorry, so, yeah, Karis, I'm hoping she has a speedy recovery. Brittany is no longer snowed in. Shoshana says, haha, Amy, that's my nickname, Shush. I went by Shauna to try and sound more professional, but Shush always seems to sneak back. I think I always called you Shauna. I don't think I ever called you Shush. <laughs> um, but it's cute. I like it. I like it. Okay, so I'm just digging through this bag here. There you can see that. I'm digging for scrappy bits. I think I can use, ooh, vellum. See, vellum, very springy. Is this the bad vellum? Oh no, I think it's okay vellum. So I'll just fold that in half, two, and just kind of stick it there, and then we'll staple it all together. The trick is when you're making these little notebooks is you don't want to get too bulky otherwise your um, staples won't go through. And we're doing two at once. Because why not? Why not? Let's use this one too. So this is also part of the Helen Colbrook papers, which I'm pretty sure are sold out. Shauna can tell us if Helen Colbrook has any new stuff coming out. Or is, yeah. Let us know, Shauna. Can we expect new things from Helen Colbrook at Craft Stash? Okay. Let's 
see flipping through here. Ooh, more. I think these are also from Hannah. That one feels a little bit too neon for this. Um, so I'm gonna go with this yellow one. So I think this is a monthly takings summary. It's like from a ledger, like a vintage ledger, <laughs> which is really cool. So thank you so much, Hannah, for those. Really, really, really appreciate. This one is, okay, it's not springtime, but it has very springy colors. So I'll use that. And then I think I'm gonna have to just staple these because they're gonna get too bulky and I don't wanna, don't want to um, bust my staples. <laughs> um, yeah, so let me just have a quick um, flip. Ooh, more vellum, yes. So one more quick flip through this bag of paper. <laughs> See if I'm missing anything. Let me look in one more spot. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Bethany. Um, oh, let me know what you've been making. Sarah Louise says, it's so sunny here, it's like summer. Hannah says, they came with the chemist catalog, so they'll there's something, um, they'd be something chemist related to. Oh, how funny. Chemists. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Oh, this paper's pretty too. Oh, so pretty. Look at this paper. Just found that. Very springish. As well. So pretty. Um, hmm. Let me just cut a piece of this blue one. This blue one's really, really calling to me because it's very flowery, very springy, very nice. Um, yeah, as I was saying, please let me know what you've been making. What have you been making this week? Um, what did I see? What did I see was made? Uh, Kate Fletcher is still on a roll with her, I saw another like white um, emboss resist kind of project going on. So pretty. Um, Jennifer Lawrence is not here, but she was um, trying to find like coffee themed stuff for her stash and she found some really cute stamps that I want. <laughs> from uh, Wrong Wrong Illustrations. They were so cute, so pretty. Let's see if this is the same size. Ooh, it's a little bit too big. So we're gonna have to trim that down. Because I don't want anything to be too much bigger than my outside cover, if that makes sense. So the outside cover is the size limit. So I'll put this little heavy bitty one here. And maybe we'll do this one here. Just gonna slide that. Oh, I need this yellow piece. Um, how do we do this? I'm gonna have to cut this little ledger thing. Cut it like that. And add a pop of the yellow, which is very springy. Oh, jeez. Uh, I love the, love this peach. So pretty. We've got peach, we've got teal got magic. Okay. I feel like this one's really bulky. Feels bulky. Okay, so I'm gonna have to probably trim all this excess off. Um, probably with my guillotine. Maybe just a little bit. Okay, I'm happy with the size of this. Um, because it's going to be too bulky if I go any thicker. 
Okay, now we need to <laughs> didn't arrange this very well. Let me see what this looks like. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So, here we go. It's going to be the cover like that. And then that is going to be the first page. So I'll line that up on the little score line, crease line. That's going to be the next page. And I can even like shift that up a little bit. And then this little peach full peach delight will be there. Then this one I should cut. I'm gonna cut that because otherwise it's gonna be a weird page that's like creased at the top and you can't open up. <laughs> that's a dull blade. A dull blade for you. Sorry, it adds some texture, some character <laughs> to our pages, junk journal pages. Okay, that'll go there next. Oh, maybe I'll break these up. So I'm gonna add this one there, that one there. Roughly lined up on the score line here. And then we're gonna reach for my long reach stapler. And we're going to staple one in the center and then one here and one there. So, oh, it's shifted. I need some binder clips. Where did those binder clips go that I think Sarah Louise sent to me? Or maybe it was Maria. All right. I'm going to line that up right there. I'm going to do the center one first. <laughs> I never get it in the right spot. Oh, not bad. Not too bad. <laughs> that one was way off. And I know I can set this thing over here so that I could kind of roughly always do it at the same spot, but I never do. And just try to eyeball it. <laughs> All right, so there's our three staples, roughly, roughly in the right spot. Oh, did I do this upside down? Oh no, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. It's fine. Okay. So there's our first little notebook, and I'm gonna have to trim this away. I need to find my craft knife because it's so easy to just have like a steel ruler here, and then just take your craft knife and cut that excess. So easy. So I'm going to do that. This one I'm just going to do with scissors, guys. Just this big excess. Okay. So I need to make sure my pages are right. Let me pull that off. So we've got this one. It's going to be our first little layer. I'm going to put that in the center so that the center staple grabs it. Got some vellum next, and then this blue that I like, the yellow ledger, some chemist, vintage chemist stuff, papers, which are so cool, so cool. Thank you, Hannah, for sharing your stash with me. Super grateful for that. Oh, I need to read comments so that I can see what you've been making. Making, baking, raking, taking. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Whoops, it scrolled too far. I didn't do that. Okay. Um, Amy says last night she worked on her art journal. She got the background done and the focal point started. Nice. Alex says it's gray and snowy, but it's 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So nice. That is nice. Lynn has those papers. Cool. Lisa says she hasn't made anything recently. Been up north with my dad, but I'm back home now and got my crafty stash out, but I can't decide what I want to make. Ooh. 
That's a toughie. That is a toughie. Um, she said she might cut some rolled flowers on her cameo later. I find rolling them quite therapeutic. Ooh, like 3D flowers? Definitely. Cool, Jeanette, you still have that gorgeous heart. What gorgeous heart? Where? I don't see a heart. Is there a heart somewhere? Did I miss it? <laughs> um, Shoshana says, no new stuff from Helen Colbrook at Craft Stash. Some insider knowledge so you didn't hear this from me. I think her Colbrook got dropped and her contract didn't get reduced. Her stuff is just on sale. Oh no! <laughs> Shana, we're going to have to delete your comment. <laughs> okay. We didn't hear it. I'm going to just delete that. <laughs> Um, thank you. Thank you for that information. <laughs> okay. Sean is currently crocheting a hippo. Um, Bethany's been knitting a baby blanket. Um... I think the rolled flowers are 3D flowers, right? I think so. Sue Hart's Crafts, I think. You tell me how the baked feta with vegan feta turns out. Been wanting to try it. Looks so yummy. Ooh. The heart was at the middle of one of the booklets. Oh, oh, right. Thank you. Was it like one of those? Oh, this one? That's probably the one she was referring to. Okay, so there's definitely need some trimming there, but at least we can start adding stuff. To it. So let's begin. Um, just grabbing stuff in my immediate vicinity. Stuff that I pulled out from the, um, like on the bench, you know, when I pull out stuff when I'm journaling and I pull it to the bench warming section and I don't end up using it, I just kind of just slide it right off, right off my little work surface and slide it off to um off to the side so i thought that i could use some of this stuff just like kind of random odds and ends and we can glue it down i don't like the pink there mm -hmm. It's just one of those things where if I think about it too much, you don't want to think about it too much. <laughs> Hearing I'm thinking about it too much. Let's just start gluing. Let me find a good glue stick. That one's super dried out. And I put it right back into my stash. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> you might recognize this stuff from previous videos. This one is creating is caring. Cute, cute. I think I stamped that last Wednesday on Wednesday. There we go. Got this, which matches that. Um, I'll just fold this, oh, just fold this in half. Kind of have it sticking out a little bit. Almost like a little page flag, page tab thing. Find a home for this little you are my sunshine thingy. Die cut. I feel like I should have this one too. I think I should have these both out. 
side by side. I'm gonna glue this so just the bottom part so it's kind of free floating on this vellum. Kind of like that. That'll do. Maybe put this little flower sticking out. Hope everyone's week has been going well. It has been really busy. Just busy. Busy, busy. Um, just feels a little kind of frantic. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else feels like that. Okay. There we go. Two notebooks side by side. We shall fill them up with things. With all the things. Okay. Now, let me put, sorry, I need to put paper away. Because I'm not adding any more sheets to this. We're going to add, ooh, look at this sheet of stickers. Carpe Diem stickers feel really, very much, um, Wait, no, those aren't stickers. <laughs> That's just paper. <laughs> These are stickers. There we go. Uh, just little stickers that we can add throughout. Oh, yeah. Sorry, putting this paper away. I don't need it right now. And let's go in here. So I wanted to use up some doilies because I have a few and I just want to use them up. So here's some craft colored ones which we'll find a home for and then also I've got some I felt like I had some really springy pastel-y kind of doilies but oh maybe these ones. These are the ones like peachy. Peachy kind of doilies. Add those as well. Get those going. And then we'll move to the smaller elements. Where's my glue stick? All right. Hmm. Okay. So I'm just gonna glue it kind of on this vellum so it's free hanging, free floating off of the vellum. Like that will do. That'll do, okay? That'll do. And then I'll add each one would be nice, just kind of there. And then we'll add um one over here somewhere. Maybe. I don't want to cover up that green. So maybe I'll just do it in here. Let's find a home for this peach one. That will do. I feel very quick about this. <laughs> like, I just want to get as far as I can in an hour, if that makes any sense. Ooh, yay! We've got these little sentiments that I can finally use. These little, um, whatchamacallum, journaling cards, sentiment cards. Just putting a little bit of glue there. There we go. Let's find a home for this one. I really love this color. It's like a periwinkle. Is that the right color? The background on this polo spring. It's very pretty. Very nice. Very nice. 
Hello, Veronica. Um, Bethany says, two babies coming in the family of two in the same month. Inconsiderate. <laughs> Uh, is it like your siblings are having babies? Um, she said, Bethany says, I'm so looking forward to meeting them, to be honest. It's given me plenty of knitting projects, even trying to crochet something. Aww, what, they, are they, are you like their auntie or is it your friends? Amy says, Jeanette had a dream, went to the movies with our hubbies, kind of an outdoor... <laughs> Theater, my hubby found us a good spot, but the lady in our section stole one of our chairs rude. <laughs> that is too funny. It's been a while since I've dreamed about you guys. Um, Veronica says, hello everyone. Hi, Veronica. Sorry I'm late with shopping clearance at Hobby Lobby. Oh yeah. <laughs> hmm. She got mainly beads and glass beads for charms and shaker mixes. Ooh, that sounds fun. Okay, um, let's keep going. I've got lots of random little things like this. Um, ephemera, sorry, I'm looking in here. Um, and I'm going to pull just randomness. Because when you're working on a junk journal, you can pr pretty much anything goes, and it's great. <laughs> it's a good way to use up your stash. Oh, found a tag, random tag. Cool, cool, cool. Um, what do we have? Just digging through this thing. That thing is, oh, it's too big. No, no, it's about right. Okay, I can, I can washi tape, tape that in there. That's like a journaling card. Uh, you and me, sure, why not? Trying to find all the spring things that we can add to this. Ooh, boots, rain boots, yes. To add to this junk journal. I'm trying to find things that are on the larger scale first, so. Like these little itty bitties will probably go on at the end, just because they're smaller. So we'll stick to the large things first. That's fairly big. And then work our way down. This one feels, this one feels a little bit fall, because it has some muted, kind of muted colors. Um, oh, that one, that one feels definitely very spring-like. Why, hello there, yep, yep, feeling it, feeling it for sure. Okay. Let's glue these in. This one needs to be glued in with some washi tape. Just kind of stick it in there. This washi tape that I found is very spring-like. So we'll put some there, trim that, open it up, put it on the other side. And then we have this like colorful, not colorful, sorry, um, whatchamacallit. What is this? A month, like a little month card, which would be cool to put little things in it, kind of like a tracker. Mm 
secret picture on the back of that tag. <laughs> I have that picture in, an, in another journal, <laughs> in case you're wondering why I was so ready and willing to glue, put glue on that thing. Mm. Layering doilies is fun too, like doily shapes. Never a dull moment with doilies. Hmm. 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 Kind of feels. This would feel right. This would feel right if this wasn't here. I really like the beast colors together, like those patterns together, but. It just feels too crazy with this doily in the back. Too crazy. Crazy. Maybe we'll just put this here since it's got some a little sprinkle of yellow on these flowers and then it kind of complements the background. All right. Time to add some more bits. These are just scraps. Well, this is a little die cut, but this is a little scrap of paper I just found. So I thought I'd layer it up, find a home for it. That will do. Okay, I'm gonna stick to one, one of these because I feel like I'm, I hope I'm not making anyone dizzy going, doing like the back and forth shuffle between those two those two notebooks. So let's stick to one because I don't want anyone to be confused or wonder what's happening. <laughs> I'm I'm thinking about Vegas vacation with Chevy Chase, which I think is, in my opinion, is the best, um, what is it, Lampoon's vacation movies? It's the best one. <laughs> so I'm thinking about that song that the ladies um, singing with Wayne Newton. And she's performing with Wayne Newton. <laughs> Uh, it's in my head. I don't know if anyone else has a song stuck in their head right now. Why does that happen? Is there like a psychological reason why that happens? Why songs get stuck in your head? It's very weird. Very strange when that happens. staple that one. Be true to you. And we can add this somewhere, somewhere. Lynn says, there is a lovely heart in it. Don't cover it up. Oh, I'm probably, yeah, I hope I don't, but no promises. <laughs> Jeanette, did you mention the name of the, collect, of the collection of the paper you're using? I know you said it was by Helen Colebrook. Yeah, it's just this outside one. 
So these patterns here, these two patterns, it was a set of A5 size paper that she did, but I don't know if it's like still available. It might be sold out. So this is what it looks like. It's A5 size papers. Everyday Journaling by Helen Colebrook, and you can find that on Craft Stash. Um, I don't know, I don't think it had a name. I think it was just like A5 paper. Oh, Journal Essentials Paper Pack and Ephemera. So you might get lucky there. Um, hello, Kate Fletcher. I was talking about you talking smack. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> you guys remember when people used to say talking smack about you? <laughs> oh, it's the 1990s. I don't know why, why that was even a thing. <laughs> Here's another scrappy-doo bit of paper. Um, I wasn't talking smack about you, Kate. I was saying how you were on a roll with your emboss, heat emboss resist cards and they were stunning. So that's what I was saying. <laughs> Let me just glue this on the front since I'm here. Enjoy it all. Um, doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> product assess. So the topic of Chinese food. Ooh. So the topic of Chinese food. Came, am I saying that right? So the topic of Chinese food came up again last night. So I'm hoping that today will be that I can finally get some Chinese food. Oh my gosh. I hope so, Veronica. I'm rooting for you for Chinese food. I think what's gonna happen is um. Like if I see it, if I see it in a movie, usually it happens when I see it in a movie or something and somebody's eating Chinese food in a movie, I, I want it after that. <laughs> it just happens and we always regret it too. We regret it every single time. Because we haven't found a Chinese food place around here that's like amazing. Like it's good, it's not bad. But um, yeah, we just haven't found like the place. So, um, we end up regretting it. We're like, why did we do that? But it's always a movie that gets us. It's usually a movie that gets us. <laughs> this is really sad. <laughs> but I hope you get it. I hope, hope it works out. And that you get some, get some Chinese food. We're having leftovers, which is awesome because then I don't have to cook anything. Just have to warm it up. Although I did some cooking today. I helped Lovey. <laughs> Lovey. Um, we found some new recipes that he wanted to try out. So we tried them. We've been trying them out. Um, and so we made some Sorry, these are graph paper, kind of grid paper scraps that I really like. I really like that print, it's very unique. <laughs> uh, so I wanted to incorporate it somewhere. Um, maybe I'll do like a crepe. A crepe kind of style. Creping, crimping? I don't know what, this, what you would call this. Uh, so yeah, um, he found this recipe for, what was it, like vegetable, like shredded vegetables, uh, pancakes. <laughs> uh, I think they're supposed to be like an Indian kind of inspired recipe, but they had zucchini, shredded zucchini, sorry, uh, shredded cor courgette, cor courgette, courgette, <laughs> cor courgette, I don't know how you say that. Let me spell it, because that's how they say zucchini here. <laughs> they don't call it zucchini. There we go, it's in the comments. So, carrots, zucchini, uh, a little basil, or basil, um, breadcrumbs, eggs, and then you make like patties out of it. And, um, and then you fry them, like little pancakes. They're pretty good. And then you have it with like yogurt, plain yogurt. 
and they were pretty delicious so that's what we made this afternoon and I smell like fried stuff now I don't like that smell I didn't used to mind it before but I want to say the past maybe it's since being in lockdown <laughs> I just can't handle the smell of like fried that fried smell in on my clothes it drives me crazy Alright, that's some fun little texture in there. Uh, let's find more. Another place for it. Lynn, I, I promise to keep this heart intact. Even though I kind of want to cover it. <laughs> because it has black and I don't know if I'm ready to um, put black into it. Because this is a very springy kind of flavor. Kind of layout flavors um, so so there's that I'm gonna staple this <laughs> this hodgepodge of papers um, I can't staple it because it's gonna show through that side so sorry I guess I'll glue it down I'll glue it down. This is random papers. <laughs> random scrappy bits. I'm buffering. Courge, courgette, courgette. Courgette. Why can't I say it? Kate says, oh no, I broke it. Yep, you did. You, you did. Uh, Veronica says, yes, I don't like the fried smell on my clothes, especially can't stand it in my house. I don't mind it. Like I, like I can handle it in the house. I just, it just drives me crazy when it's on my clothes. Especially if my hair smells like it. I'm like, no, no not cool this is recently too like within the past year um maybe it's just because we're inside so much <laughs> you know what i mean we're home so i just smell it all day versus being at work all day and not smelling it so much okay so i have my flower stash out here i'm trying to find flowers that i have a lot of Kind of add to this. These are all flowers that I've stamped and fussy cut. I have a lot of those blue ones. Oh my gosh, I have so many of those blue ones. It helps to stamp and fussy cut. Look how much stamping and fussy cutting I did. No wonder I hurt my hand. So many. I also have a lot of these little purple ones, which we'll find a home for those. Oh, and these white ones, these are um, from a Tonic Studios die set. Ugh, it's such a great little set because it's just a bunch of layered flowers. It's probably discontinued. Sorry. One day I shall have things that are not <laughs> discontinued. And it's going to be great. And you're going to be happy. Because you'll be able to find, find them. I'm just pulling out a bunch of little flowers see what we can make. Oh, felt.
Hmm. Hmm. Oh, pipes. My pipes are humming again. Alright, I need something to go in the middle here. Not like that thing in particular, but something like that. Something similar. Ooh, got so many flowers. So many springtime flowers to add to this. Have a beautiful day. Something like that, maybe. I'm not crazy about it. I'm not I'm not crazy about it. I wish I had pink twine still. Pink twine would be perfect here. Just thread that through. Well, pink twine would be great. All right. Um, let's move on. Cuz <laughs> I could be working on that page all day. All day long. I'll put a piece of this paper here. No. No, no. No, no. put little gemstones in the center. In the centers, I think, would be good. Yeah, why do, courgette is a French word, right? And why did America, where, where did zucchini come from? What, what is all that about? <laughs> Lynn says, that is too much fussy cutting. I have PTSD from that fussy cutting session. <laughs> I really do. Alex says, I absolutely gotta find white ink to do that on pretty paper. Yeah, it's fun. Hello, Grindella. Grindella says, good morning, ladies. I'm way late. I'm driving to Temecula for a girl's lunch day at a winery. I don't drink, but I'm excited to go. That's fun. You should go to the Sizzler in Temecula. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Is it really good? <laughs> Sizzler is amazing. They're, I think they closed a lot of them down, but it's supposed to be like a, I don't even know what to liken it to honestly, but they have a salad bar, like a buffet salad bar thing, and it's great. That is what, <laughs> we miss Sizzler. We like their, um, we usually get the salad bar. So I think it used to be like $8 for just salads and, they had these like corn fritters and these dino chicken tender things, shape things, and they give you cheesy toast when you get the salad bar, <laughs> like cheese toast. It's like part of the part of the deal, and you can also get a baked potato in case you didn't know. <laughs> um, but yeah. Sizzler. I miss it. My parents love Sizzler. I can always find them at Sizzler. <laughs> and the one in Temecula is really good. They have like good quality stuff. <laughs> anyway. I think it's Temecula. I'm pretty sure it's Temecula. Okay, so as I'm when I'm crafting, when I'm doing these live streams, I look over at the monitor to like read your comments, but also sometimes like I'll look at the actual video and it's weird because sometimes 
things on camera look much better than they do in real life. And sometimes it's the opposite. They look terrible on camera. Like just the colors don't pull through or, um, you know, it just doesn't look the same. So as I'm looking at this thing on the, to see what your guys are seeing, it looks awful. <laughs> But it's not as bad. It's not that bad in real life. I promise. <laughs> this looks terrible. I mean, not terrible. It just, it looks nicer in person. Trust me. What time is it? That's a good question. Okay, I think... I'm good on the flowers. Maybe we should move on to something else. Move on. Let's put these flowers back. I thought I was going to use them all, but I did not. I always say that this, this is also from stash building, from die cutting. This is like the negative of this little guy, this little one die set that I really like. And I always say, like I have quite a few of these and I always think oh, one day I'm gonna use that in a junk journal or something and then I don't end up doing anything with it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have stuff like that where you're like, ooh, I'm gonna use that one day and then you don't. I feel like Amy would find a home for this on one of her mixed media pages. She definitely would. I'm just gonna glue it down because I really, really, I mean, I've had it for so long and I think it's pretty. <laughs> I think it's pretty, so I'm gonna glue it in. I have a safe drive, Grindelia. Grindella says, I don't think we have any more sizzlers around. Yeah, they're hard to find. There's not, there's not that many. They're a dying breed, unfortunately. I mean, it's not, it's honestly not the best quality food. I don't recommend it. <laughs> but it's just something about the sizzler, sizzlers. Sizzler cheese toast. I want to put something leafy in, so like leaf leaves, because that feels very springtime, very springy. So I'm trying to find some sprigs, leaves and sprigs, in my little wallet to add to the mix. Ooh, I like this one. That is a Helen Colebrook die set, which is also probably discontinued. Probably sold out and then they don't make them again. See, look, I have more of these. <laughs> Why do I save them? Why? <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> Fork. <laughs> what the heck? It's almost as random as my little whale. My little spring. I use my little whale for spring, finally. Probably not. Oh, what's in here? I haven't looked in this one in forever. It's a little zippy bag. Oh, it has my sticky notes. Just random sticky notes. Which might be fun to add, so let me pull a few of those. Maybe we'll find something. Those we can find. They'll be nice like um sorry, they'll be nice little placeholders for um like journaling stuff. So that I can turn this into a journal. Mm. So 
I'm just digging through another wallet of ephemeras and die cuts. Just finding random little bits. tab. This is a chipboard sticker that has lost its sticky. to journal. Maybe I'll add a sprig. Sure. Sure. Let's not think about it too much. Maybe we'll add a flower. Where's my flower? Flowers. Maybe I'll add some of this stuff finally. <laughs> I showed that to you last week, I think. Where's the flower? My flower wallet. There it is. Let's find a flower. To go there. Pink? No, too pink. Peach. What time is it anyway? Ooh, I found another sprig. Always happy for sprigs. Oi. Too bright. Maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not crazy, crazy about it, but it might have to do. Oh, what about this one? A little sparkly. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna go with this because this color kind of echoes that one just a smidge. All right, and I've got these little page flags, which maybe we can stick back here somewhere, popping out the back. 
sure, why not? Might as well. this yellow one. This yellow flower somewhere. It's so pretty and so delicate. Where, where, where do you want to live, little flower? Let's find, I'm struggling with the flower, so let's find somewhere for this little twine banner thing. Alex says she's very inspired, I'm very inspired by this Jeanette, I'm gonna give it a try after lunch even though I don't own much, yes. Do it. Hello, Sandra D. I need to stretch my legs. Oh, jeez. Oh, goodness. Oh. Hello, Shay. Did not see you there. Are you a first time watcher? Sandra says there are a few sizzlers still around, but I think their salad bar is not open due to COVID. That makes sense. <laughs> I wouldn't be very um, wise. Kate says, did they stop doing Helen Colebrook on Craft Stash? I haven't seen a new release in ages. We got some insider information. You can't say from who, but yes, it looks like they have not done anything with Helen. I think they're not going to. Which is unfortunate, but sometimes that just happens. And it kind of goes both ways. Like sometimes it's, um, I'm not going to say anything about it. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. It could be either way. Do you know what I mean? It could be the brand. It could be the designer. It just depends. Lots of things go on behind the scenes at any company, right? I want to use a sprig. This beautiful little sprig is so pretty. Where, where, where do you want to be, little sprig? Mm -hmm. Today has flown by. Like, how is it? What time did I start? Oh my gosh, I'm 10 minutes over, guys. Everybody try to stop me. <laughs> Yuck, hair. Sorry. I'm always shedding. Okay. I'm gonna have to go. Let me just finish gluing this down. I have a video in the works that I will post um, very soon. Pre recorded video. 
Yeah, yeah, pre-recorded video. So I'll post that very soon. It is a spring journal layout. So I was doing, filming the voiceover for that right before this video. Before I went live. And in the, in that video that's coming out, I talked about these scissors. <laughs> so remember these scissors. <laughs> Well, in the next video. You'll know what I mean if you watch that video. <laughs> Those flowers, I think, are upside down there, but it's fine. Feels right. So a junky, junky kind of journal. <laughs> Me and my negatives. <laughs> like I just want to save them. Cause what if I use them one day? What if I use them? And then I don't end up using them. And then they get all mangled like this. I just love them. I love them so much. Yeah, this it just looks terrible now because it's all mangled. Maybe I'll keep that one there. Oh, I didn't even use those stickers. How can I not? I should use them. Let's use this little arrow. Maybe just these little sentiments. Some of these feel very springy and some of them don't. Oh, look at these pencils. These little pencils are so cute. Remember that time I killed those pencils and you guys were all appalled. <laughs> that was funny. A little pencil. Sure, I'll just put that there. Why not? Why not? I just love this. Go there. A little green heart. Mm, maybe this yellow flower, we can find a spot for it. Oh. I need too many hearts on that page. Oh, that one can go there. Oh, jeez, this one fell off. Okay. Um, all right. Well, that is it for today. <laughs> I'll probably do a pre-recorded video on finishing this bad boy. Finishing this bad boy up. And I'll work on I'll work on the other the other one that looks like this. This one. Uh, I just want to use this up somewhere. Let's put it there. Okay. Cool. <laughs> oh, Debra, hello. Hope you are well. Yeah, Deborah, you had quite a rough time with COVID. I'm so sorry. I hope you were feeling stronger than you were. Um, oh, Shay, it's her first time. That's awesome. Um, cool. Okay, that was... That was very fun. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys all 
are safe. Veronica, let us know if you end up getting your Chinese food. Um, Deborah's gonna try to catch up with Facebook postings on page. <laughs> Yay, Deborah! Oh, I'm, I hope you're feeling well enough to be back. Um, we do always wonder about you and hope you are feeling almost better. Have a good rest of the week. Thanks for weekend. Sorry, thanks for hanging out. That was fun doing this junky, junky journal junk journals, little notebook things. Um, ideally, I would like to put these all into like a cover. So, gotta think about that. <laughs> Thanks again so much for joining me and I hope everyone has a good rest of the weekend. Take good care of yourselves, be good to yourselves, and thanks again.